So I just got access to ChatGPT5. OpenAI just released this, and it is a lot smarter in some pretty crucial ways that make our lives a lot easier as print-on-demand sellers. So let's jump into ChatGPT, and I'll show you some of those new capabilities. So here we are. We have ChatGPT5 here, and it was something that was done on a rolling basis so GPT-5, this is the normal one. Most of us are going to be using this for most of what we need. Uh, GPT-5 thinking is kind of like the upgraded version of O3. So useful in certain circumstances, but it all boils down to chat GPT is smarter and it understands context better. So in this example, we have two images. We've got this um, skeleton image. It's got this gradient effect that is trending like crazy on Etsy. And we have this cat, which is also a trending type of design style that is present all over print on demand right now. And what we're doing is we're asking it in plain language to apply the gradient in the skeleton design to the cat rock and roll design. And we got this output, which is pretty cool. And I believe that the older model would have struggled to do this in an intelligent way. This is a reference image pulled from Etsy. And all we did was ask for it to keep the design theme and style and make it into cats playing various instruments isolated on a white background. And that is already a really solid result. But what's really cool is that since ChatGPT5 is a bit smarter and we have it on thinking mode, so it's even smarter than usual, we can have it intelligently swap around the cats to achieve visual balance, which is not something that was very easy to do before. So we asked for the ones that were filled in to be on the outside and the ones that were outlines to be on the inside. So it was able to do that. It was able to render all of these different uh, styles. There's one repeat here, but it was able to do unique instruments, unique cats, balanced placement and that is a pretty impressive result so that layer of intelligence between us and the actual image generator gpt image one or the 40 image generator it does allow us to do better image manipulation with far less complicated prompting which is a big plus so where i'm seeing the biggest increases in chat gpt's effectiveness as a design collaborator so to speak is that it's doing a lot better in terms of understanding the context of why images or designs are funny or not. So in this one, I have it on chat GPT-5 thinking. I asked for it to give me 10 ideas based on what makes this design funny. And it was able to identify what makes this design funny and create similar ideas that would work well on a t-shirt. So on Etsy, something like elegantly windy would be pretty funny. Gas and class with a penguin and a bow tie is pretty funny. And pardon my breeze with a goose would also make an excellent t-shirt idea. And in the past, when we would ask for something like this, we would not get nearly this many decent ideas. We're probably looking at almost double the effectiveness of finding useful ideas when we ask for something like this, which will make the whole expansion of your portfolio so much faster. Another thing that is pretty cool is that you could use chain of thought prompting, which is a prompting method where we tell it to do something and then we go through it step by step in order to make it think about and evaluate things through the process. So in this example, we have generate 20 funny gym shirt ideas for men and then think about what would be appealing to a wide audience and then pick the best three and then generate the designs. And this is all in very plain language. We don't have to get complicated with it. And that's the biggest benefit of having the intelligence go up in these AI models. And if you look at some of these gym shirt ideas, I can easily see more than just the three working. Kind of fit, kind of tired is pretty good. Leg day survivor is pretty good. Form over ego is pretty good. Rep collector, I can definitely see some kind of heavy metal, grim reaper type of design doing very well with that phrase. Deadlifts and dad jokes, I would probably personally wear that kind of shirt. And if you scroll through it, you could see that 
a pretty decent amount of these are quite usable. And like I said, it's probably two, maybe even three times as many decent ideas when we ask for it to give us ideas now. And then as we scroll down, we see what it selected. And then it says these are the top three. And then it decides to generate the designs sequentially. And in this case, it is giving us the design concept. And then it goes through all three of the designs. And then it pauses. And a lot of the times it wants to pause before we go through the image generation. And then we went ahead and told it to generate those three images. And then as we scroll down, we see that it did that. It removed the background automatically. And since so many people are using GPT-5 right now, we ended up stalling here. I'm sure that's gonna get fixed in the future, but we can jump into Figma so we can see the finished designs that it came up with. So here we go. This is a pretty solid output. It's decided to integrate things that make a lot of sense for this niche. It's even got the sweat emoji with the kettlebell in a way that the kettlebell almost looks like an emoji, which is a pretty cool design choice. And then if we scroll down, we see the other ones that it generated in sequence. Form over ego, this looks pretty standard and pretty decent. And then we go here, and I also like this one. It says, respect the rest day. It's a kettlebell on a pillow with the Zs. It's a very well formatted type of design. So that was ChatGPT5. I think that there are significant upgrades in a few areas. The fact that it is able to pick out what makes a design work and then make an evaluation and then make a design is pretty game changing. Now, if you want to see another cool chat GPT feature, check out this video over here where I go over how you could use chat GPT agent to crawl Etsy for best-selling design ideas. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in that video.